Hey there all. Uh, today I'm going to show you how you can send a Final Cut Pro project uh, over to Logic Pro where you can uh, mix and master that audio to your heart's delight. And then once you're finished with all that mixing and mastering, you can uh, then round trip that back over to Final Cut where you can marry that with your, with your current project uh, before finalizing and publishing your video. Cool, um, I'll show you all the steps on that, so let's get moving. Here is the Final Cut project that we are working with, and uh, this video is of a musical group uh, named the Parker Quartet uh, that came into our studio earlier this spring. Um, and I'll just play a couple seconds of this for fun. <laughs> Um, so before we send this off to Logic, what we, we need to do one, uh, one simple thing. Um, we want to select all of the audio, make sure that's selected in this multi-cam clip, um, and then we want to deselect anything that we're, we're not using. If we select everything, and this, this has, let's see, 10 camera angles, so if we brought all of those 10 camera angles with all of their associated stereo tracks into, uh, into Logic, that could be just disorienting. And there's flat out some of the tracks, of some of the audio we just don't want to use. So we, don't, we just want to target the ones that we do want to use. And so just to make sure to do that, and you can do that in this over here. Um, and so I've already gone ahead and done that where camera two is, has really nice audios as well as camera three, camera four, uh, and then camera, cameras nine and 10. Um, but I specifically deselected five through eight because they're just audio that we just don't wanna work with. Um, so now what we need to do, uh, we need to do two things, two additional things. Uh, we need to create an XML of this project and then we also need to export a, th this actual video itself so that when we're working in Logic, you can, you can uh, edit musically to the actual video itself. Um, so the first thing is to uh, export the XML. So let's just make sure that PQ uh, underscore take two, which is our current project right here. Uh, so we're gonna export this. So file, export XML. And then I'm gonna put this in, uh, let's do, call this take two A, uh, because it's still take two, but this is an additional XML that we are producing. Uh, hit save. And what we also want to do is just export this draft of this video. So in, through the share, you can go file, then share. Uh, you can go to this, this box. Um, we're gonna do Apple devices 1080p. And settings I know are fine. And then we'll bring this into our exports. And we'll call this export 2A. And hit save. And that'll take a few seconds because it's a nine minute video. All right, so now that the video is finished exporting, uh, I wanna open this up in QuickTime just to show you uh, one specific thing. Uh, and that has to do with the frame rate of the video, which we want to match in, uh, in our logic project that we're gonna create. So as we see over here, it's 23.98 frames per second. And we wanna make sure that in our new logic project that uh, that frame rate matches uh, 23.98, so everything stays in sync. Uh, cool. So let's go over to Logic, and I'm gonna make a new, just a new empty project. Uh, audio. Great, and so now we wanna establish the, uh, the frame rate in this project. So if you go to File, and then Project Settings, and then go to Synchronization, You'll see it's currently set to 25, uh, which is not what we want. Uh, so we wanna uh, change that to 23.976. And that's great, cool. And so now we are ready to uh, import our XML. So if you go to File, Import, and then Final Cut Pro XML, and we'll go to find our XML, and there it is, take 2A, and we'll import that change the sample rate automatically. I think it upsampled it, which is fine. This may take a little bit, depending on uh, the complexity of your project. And so it doesn't look like much right now, but if you 
double click this, then it breaks it out. And as we can see, uh, we have all of our cameras here. Although it is strange to me, I haven't figured this out, why it seems to not keep uh, camera angles together. So camera 10, the two channels of camera 10 were somehow separated. Um, same with all of these basically. So let's fix that real quick. And there's one additional thing I want to show you, and that is to have Logic analyze the video that we have right here for scene cuts, for different camera angles, for other sorts of breaks that can then be uh, visually used to, by uh, a composer or a sound engineer uh, to very quickly identify certain moments in the video where they want, when they want to add sound effects or swells to the audio uh, or other types of uh, um, manipulations like that. Uh, if you just select, select the video and then go over to movie and then uh, create marker set from scene cuts. All right, so it looks like it, it did that. So as we scroll through, you can see that at every one of these breaks, scene 40, we are seeing a different camera angle. Cool, so now that we uh, have been able to reference the videos we're editing in, in Logic, and uh, now that we've done all of our, our mixing and mastering, now we are ready to send this back over to Final Cut and to marry it with our, our Final Cut Pro project. Uh, so it's very easy to do, and to do that, we need to export an XML again. So if we go to File, Export, and then Final Cut Pro XML, and then I'll call this V2A. And we do want to select, deselect uh, Export as Final Cut Compound Clip, because uh, that'll actually just bring uh, the video with it, and we don't want it to do that. Uh, and we'll hit Save. All right, so it looks like that's all finished. So now let's, let's move back over to Final Cut where we can uh, import that XML. Go to Import, XML. Let's go down to this one. This is 2A. Import, and it's actually going to create a new event and a project. And if we double click this, boom, here are all of our tracks that we have uh, lovingly uh, edited and worked with. And what we want to do now so we can bring it into our project is just select all of these and create a compound clip out of this. Uh, so you could do, you could right click and do that, or you could just hit option G. And then I'm just going to call this underscore CC uh, as our shorthand for compound clip and hit OK. And there we have our compound clip. And now as we go back to our project, uh, there it is, take two. Now that's all loaded up and we basically just bring this in right underneath. And now we have this all together. Now one thing we want to do, we want to make sure that all of this audio is deselected because now this is extraneous and is not the audio that we want to use. Uh, so I'll just uh, reduce all that um, and just give this a little play. Amazing. So that's that. Uh, hope it's helpful. Thanks so much, guys.